I'm going to be nice and cover this one just because <clears throat> people have been very nice to me recently. <laughs> uh, Corsair is one of my top watches for a while now. And it it's fairly heavily shorted, has been. Um, a fair valuation for this is where it fucking was in the 40s. It was up over the 50s a little bit for a while. Um last year in like November or something but you know then the gear of the short comes in no reason whatsoever Corsair is a fantastic company my first PC build gaming PC build almost 10 years ago I had a Corsair tower and I used a Corsair power supply and they were phenomenal and PC gaming is on the rise it's a very profitable business and has been for a long time I mean it's not it's been a big deal for a long time it's just starting to gain a lot more popularity people that have been console players for a long time are starting to see the relevance in having a pc as well and playing some games on pc uh, a lot of console games are starting to branch out and make pc versions so <clears throat> then you have cross play that's starting to be implemented across pc gaming and you know playstation xbox all the different consoles uh been waiting, waiting, waiting patiently. I mean, fucking patiently. <laughs> Did I say patiently? Like, super patiently for something that looked like this may, may be starting to break back up. I, I cannot imagine, cannot imagine this going under $20. I just can't. There's no fucking way. <clears throat> um, and I think 25 may be where it bottoms out at. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, this is one that I recently got back into a couple days ago. And uh, I would keep it on your radar. Not telling you to jump in right now or do anything that I've done. I'm just letting you know that I am invested in it. It's something I have been watching. It is something that has a fairly significant amount of short interest in it. Um, <clears throat> and from a fundamental standpoint, same thing as AMD. Same exact uh, passion I have for AMD, I have for Corsair. Except, you know, Corsair got hit hard this year. Just absolutely hit hard, which makes no sense because people were stuck at home. People were building computers this year and buying Corsair components this year. I don't know. It's whatever. <clears throat> I mean, it is a tough market. There are a lot more competitors coming out there. Um, but Corsair has been doing this for a long time. Long time. And their products are very, very good. So I'm feeling as though this is probably its its low point. If they if they knock it down under 25, I'll probably back out. I'll back out again and see because maybe they will get it under 20. But I feel like this is starting to look like a turning point for it. Um. So there you go. There's a a a really good fundamental company that uh is at a very low point like to me this is a steal it is being shorted it's quite heavily shorted not super duper crazy shorted but you know quite a bit of it is short right now <clears throat> those need to be returned though uh, at some point and hopefully 005 has some bearing on this maybe that's why it's starting to whip around a bit um we will see but I just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. This is one of my more scrutinized plays that I've just been waiting for a turning point. Waiting. And I think it may have seen it. I think this might be it. And I think that they might know it. <laughs> and they, they might be trying to uh, come up with some sort of game plan to prevent it from breaking out. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to. So I'm in it. Um... Like I said, if it drops back under 25, if they attack it or whatever, I will likely back out and sit on my hands again and wait. But <clears throat> this is something that uh, from here should continue to steadily grow, should get its gains back up into the 30s, 40s region. You know, I would imagine by the end of the year, but I'm wondering if uh, 005 is going to create some sort of move uh, over the next week or so in this thing. So, there you go. Corsair. C-R-S-R. Research the company first before you invest. Just
Do not ever just take my words for something and invest. Everybody is different. Everybody has different convictions. Everybody sees everything differently. So make sure it feels right to you and makes sense to you to invest in it before you put your money in it. There's never any guarantees. This thing could open up today and get shorted down to fucking 15 for all I know. I, I don't know. So <clears throat> be careful. All right, I'm out.